I have been receiving a lot of questions from you about vestibulectomy, so I would like to answer them today. Hi, my name is Dr. Alexandra Dubinsky and I'm a urogynecologist and a founder of Los Angeles Institute for Pelvic and Sexual Health. Vestibulectomy is a procedure that might be performed for vestibulodynia. Vestibulodynia just means pain at the vaginal vestibula. It's just another word for the area between labia minora and the vagina. Basically, area and the opening of your vagina. There could be different reasons why women have pain. One of the common reasons are congenital neuroproliferative vestibulodynia. In a plain words, it means that some women, for some reason, have overdevelopment of the nerve endings and inflammation tissue, and one of the ways to remove that pain is actually perform a vestibulectomy. So let's dive into the questions. How much tissue do you remove? So we remove the tissue from starting from the heart's line, the line that separates vestibula and labia minora, all the way to the end of the hymenal ring. And sometimes we also need to remove the tissue between the clitoris and the urethra. How long is the recovery after vestibulectomy? Vestibulectomy is an outpatient procedure. So you go home on the same day. First day, you feel a little bit groggy just because of the anesthesia. You feel a little bit sore, and it's very important to start taking Motrin and Tylenol on a clock to decrease general amount of pain and also decrease the inflammation that will help with healing. Every day, you should start feeling better and better, but it's okay to have a little bit of burning and discomfort. When you pee, it might burn, so that's why I usually recommend to use a peri bottle when you can squirt the water from the peri bottle when you pee, so it decreases, dilutes the urine and decreases the discomfort. After first week, you feel significantly better. You still shouldn't uh, lift anything heavy and obviously not inserting anything in the vagina. Overall, recovery takes about four to six weeks when you can resume your normal activities. What is the success rate of vestibulectomy? There is not too many studies have been done, but based on the data that we have, it's about 80%. The other 20% doesn't mean that the procedure didn't work at all. It just means that some women might still have remaining pain in some areas of the vestibula. Some of the women might develop minor but not serious complications if they're Bartling glances that will require another surgery to remove it. Can my future partner figure out that I had it done without me telling him? This question is very common. Vagina is very forgiving, so it heals really well. And only people who know this procedure and look really closely to your vaginal opening can determine that you had something done. Will having vestibulectomy make me feel loose? No, it won't. And your partner won't notice it either. The vaginal tissue tends to heal so well that you're not going to notice a difference other than you won't have pain as you had before. Do you do this procedure? Yes, I do. 